In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every April 25th, the Church celebrates one of the four evangelists, and that is St. Mark. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You know, these days we should try to delve deeper into the riches of the Word of God and be exceedingly thankful that we are Christians, many of us are Catholics, and that we have access to the Word of God, to the Bible, and to the Gospels. The word Gospel actually means good news. Of the four Gospels, the Gospel of St. Mark was most likely the earliest written written to the Christians in the city of Rome. Also, the Gospel of St. Mark is actually the shortest of all the Gospels. Matthew has 28 chapters, Luke has 24, John has 21, Mark only has 16 chapters. It's famous for its narrative style, almost as if you've got a reporter standing and watching and recording, recording what's happening as well as the words. It shows the sentiments, the gestures, the words, the actions of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. St. Mark was a friend as well as a missionary companion with one of the apostles. He was with St. Luke. Rather, rather he was with uh, St. Peter. So when we have the Gospel of St. Mark, it's basically his experience of what St. Peter would have said and preached about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The end of the life of Mark, as was the case in all the apostles except the Apostle St. John, he traveled to Egypt. He was in Alexandria, Egypt. And he ended his life by being a martyr. That is to say, by shedding his blood for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So on this day in the feast day of St. Mark, let's pray that we would really get to love the Word of God, to read and meditate the riches of the Bible, the Gospel, which is truly the Word of God. 